Your gloating over APC rigging is reckless. Demands international sanctions, travel ban after May 29. President Buhari, by his subjudic statement, is clearly interfering in the electoral process ostensibly to influence the outcome and undermine the constitutionally laid down procedures for change of government. The PDP calls on the international community to accordingly impose sanctions, including visa bans and travel restrictions on President Buhari and his family immediately he vacates office on May 29, 2023. Good day and welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. My name is Angelo Himalayas. I am your anchor, as always and always. So I, I have something interesting for you to our lovely viewers, our most dedicated viewers. Okay, I, I would like to bring your mind to something that has been happening for the past few minutes. This video is trending right now and I wouldn't like you to miss it. Um, now, um, the PDP, the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party have been at the tribunal to fight for their alleged stolen mandate. That's aside. Okay, now recall that a few days ago during a, a sort of meeting between the President Muhammadu Buhari and then the Progressive Governors Forum that visited him at the presidential villa in Abuja, he described um, or attributed reasons why the People's Democratic Party's um, presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar and then um, the Labour Party's presidential candidate talking about Peter Obi, he attributed reasons why they failed at the polls, according to him, to overconfidence and lack of tactical plan. This was what President Mahmoud Buhari told the progressive governors when they paid him a visit at the ASO Villa. This has long angered um, the opposition party, talking about most importantly, or especially, the People's Democratic Party and its camp. The Labour Party, however, are yet to respond to these allegations or these um, statements by uh, President Mahmoud Buhari, but the PDP have refused to leave things to chance and they have come up to grant a sort of press conference to address um, straightforwardly and to address directly the statements of President Mahmoud Buhari at the meeting that day. This was done without bias and without prejudice. I will tell you what, the PDP didn't spare President Mahmoud Buhari this time around. They forgot the fact that he was leaving office. They had to tell him statements that he has never and would never love to hear from Nigerians. Okay, I would like you to watch this video. Let me not let the cat out of the bag, okay? Watch this video and I would really call this video the last or final nail on the coffin. That is what I would term this video to be because um, after listening and watching to um, the statements that were issued out by the People's Democratic Party and its Presidential Campaign Council spokesperson, you would know that this time around the PDP refused or have refused to allow President Mahmoud Buhari to really go out of office in peace. Watch this video. It's our response to President Buhari about a statement created to him yesterday. And it's titled, PDP to Buhari, your gloating over APC rigging is reckless. Demands international sanctions, travel ban after May 29. Gentlemen of the press, we have called you up again today to address the unfortunate, reckless, unpresidential conduct and subjudies comment credited to the President, General Muhammadu Buhari, which is already causing apprehension and is capable of destroying our corporate existence as a nation. As you are well aware, the February 25, 2023 presidential election has been adjudged across the nation and globally as the worst in the history of our country. The presidential election was marred by a brazen violation of the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, the Electoral Act 2022, INEC regulations and guidelines, manipulation of processes, alteration of genuine results from polling units, announcement of fabricated figures, 
and climaxed by the vexatious declaration of the defeated candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as winner. The general despondency, resentment, and anger across the country, the damning reports by election observers, and the pervading international contempt against Nigeria since the declaration of the APC candidate as president elect are ominous testaments that he does not have the mandate of majority of Nigerians derivable only from a credible electoral process. As you are also aware, the PDP is already at the tribunal with the prospects of reclaiming the mandate freely given to our presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, at the presidential election. Nigerians and the international community are therefore appalled, horrified, and scandalized by the careless, unguarded, and subjudiced comment by President Buhari in which he attempted to justify the rigging of the February 25, 2023 presidential election by the APC under his watch. This statement reveals the utter disregard that General Buhari has for our constitutional democracy, judiciary, and the will of the Nigerian people as expressed at the February 25, 2023 presidential election. It is, to say the least, reprehensible for Mr. President to post to and gloat over the trampling of the will of Nigeria. Blame the opposition for being overconfident and, according to him, for not being tactical, in quote. Perhaps enough to outwit the violence, brutality, threats, suppressions of voters, rigging and election manipulation by the APC and the government which he heads. It is unpardonably that President Buhari, who swore to uphold the laws of our country, and made several commitments to the world to ensure free, fair, credible, and transparent election, is rather in approval of election rigging through manifest compromise of INEX system and widespread alteration, falsification, and switching of election results in favor of his rejected party, the APC. President Buhari is practically gloating over the undermining of democracy by INEC, which refused to transmit directly results from the polling units to its server and stroke website, and announced same in total violation of the express provisions of Section 64, Subsection 4A and B of the Electoral Act 2022. More distressing is that after superintending over the rigging of the election, President Buhari, by his subjudiced comment, apparently seek to bully, blackmail, and influence the judiciary and the outcome of the petition pending before the presidential election petition tribunal, so as to allow his party, the APC, and his candidate to grab, snatch, and run with the people's mandate. The PDP in clear terms said President Buhari and his APC that our party and candidate, Atiku Abubakar, clearly won the February 25, 2023 presidential election, as shown by the authentic results from majority of polling units across the country. Welcome back. I, I hope you heard those statements there. My body is shaking right now, as well as I know yours is shaking too. So um, let it not shake, no panics, because... Um, um, anything worth doing is worth doing well, according to um, an English adage. Now, first of all, they called the statements that President Muhammad Buhari made during the meeting with the governors, they called it, or PDP termed it as a kind of subjudice statement, all right? Now, they gave him in that video the first part of it. I have another part of it. Don't touch that dial. I will give it to you at the right time. Now, um, the, uh, at this, the last video, those words were words of pain. Okay, those uh, statements were worthy of national security investigation and um, those statements were trailer loads of allegations aimed at President Muhammad Buhari. Okay, and 
Well, they also reminded him of his broken promise to Nigerians. That's too much to give it an outgoing president, okay? Now, I have a second video for you. In this part of this video, the PDP and each spokesperson even went as far as describing the rigging process during the just concluded general elections, accused even the accused President Muhammad Buhari of taking part and so pretending, let me use their word verbatim, so pretending over the sham, let me call it sham elections that took place a fourth night ago. This electoral process is known to, although is no more uh, news, that the sham election that took place few um, uh, weeks ago was uh, was marred by electoral irregularities and uh, electoral violence, ethnicity, and so on, and so for political bigotry and what have you. So um, for the PDP now to come out of their shell, it's been a long while when somebody addressed President Muhammadu Buhari face to face or on media. The PDP came out this time around for him, and I bet you what, you're not going to stop thinking about this particular part of this video. Watch it. The PDP did not lose the presidential election, as claimed by President Buhari. And we're not willing to surrender the mandate freely given to our party by the people, irrespective of the threats, bullying, and manipulation by the APC-led administration. Nigeria believed and expected President Buhari to leave a legacy of a free, fair, and credible election based on his numerous undertakings and promises, but is leaving an ignoble, dishonorable, and disgraceful legacy of enabling and superintending over the worst election conducted in the history of democracy in Nigeria. President Buhari, history will never be kind to you. It is instructive to state that part of the electoral process is the adjudication by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, which is considering petitions arising from the election. Okay, having um, watched that, it's funny, it's very funny, but the truth must be told. And um, if the truth isn't told, we wouldn't know um, the developmental process of the sort of developmental governance we want or we are gearing for in Nigeria right now. Now, um, one surprising thing is that the PDP and its spokesperson in that press conference didn't just stop at what they said. Now, um, rewind to some time in 2022, before um, the general elections that took place a fortnight ago, uh, somehow after the primaries, President Mohamed Buhari said in Brussels, in Belgium, in a conference, he addressed a crowd and was given an overview about the um, to come presidential elections or general elections in 2023 then. Um, President Mohamed Buhari assigned or allocated before uh, it, the general public a sort of um, magnanimous punishment that uh, will be accrued or will be uh, linked to whoever is caught in a sort of election irregularity, rigging or corruption. Now the PDP have come out to remind him of that particular statement he made and then to also create or establish a link between um, the statement he made and um, the outcome of the general elections just concluded, um, trying to insinuate that um, he should immediately, according to his statement, prosecute or um, he should immediately um, initiate the arrest of people who were said to be involved in the uh, sort of rigging process and the electoral irregularity that marred the um, uh, the process of uh, a choice of a president this time around during the just concluded elections okay according to uh, the pdp there they termed um, or they referenced their own point on different um uh, irregularities and evidences on um in the public space and made available to them and these evidences are also um uh, present at the tribunal that is still going on. So, listen to the last part of this press conference where they reminded President Muhammad Buhari of what he will do to um, electoral um, offenders. President Buhari, by his subjudice statement, is clearly interfering in the electoral process, ostensibly 
to influence the outcome and undermine the constitutionally laid down procedures for change of government. Having clearly undermined democracy in Nigeria, the PDP calls on the international community to accordingly impose sanctions, including visa bans and travel restrictions on President Buhari and his family immediately he vacates office on May 29, 2023. This demand for sanction is in line with President Buhari's request in Brussels, Belgium, wherein he called on the European Union, EU, to impose, quote, weighty sanctions on those engaged in unconstitutional change of governments, as well as those influencing the, quote, process and outcomes of elections. Now you see the chicken has come home to roost. This is his word, and I'll quote him. In President Buhari's word, he said, and I, you listen carefully, he was saying this in Brussels, Belgium, at an EU conference in 2022. And I, I read it carefully, and you listen. And he says, these are his words. We also call for stronger support from the European Union in the condemnation and imposition of weighty sanctions on countries that engage in unconstitutional change of governments as well as manipulation of constitution. He went further, and I quote again, it is therefore imperative, that is Buhari speaking, it is therefore imperative for our partnership to also focus on strengthening election processes in Africa and prevent interference to influence the process and outcome of election. That is what he has just clearly done. He's trying to influence the outcome of the election by that reckless statement. The PDP also demand an open investigation into the roles played by President Buhari in undermining of democracy in Nigeria in the 2019 election and the 2023 presidential elections. President Buhari needs to be advised. Thanks for joining us. Um, that is that from our table. I hope um, that video got you there. Don't forget to make it go viral. Watch this video to the end. And I would urge you, tap, always tap the notification button so you will get an update from us anytime, any day. Thanks and see you next time.